I'm interested in finding uh, ways for painting to be relevant um, in a visual culture that is not set up for slow media. <laughs> You're operating in um, a culture that is so fast, you know, the 24-hour um, news cycle and um, the internet and things like that. You know, we're bombarded with information and it's, it's very, uh, uh, it out, gets outdated very quickly, but painting by its nature takes quite a long time to make and so it, it's disadvantaged. I, I think that when the, when the subject matter is dated by the time I finish, it emphasizes the um, impossible position that the, the, the painter who's trying to paint about the world is in, you know, in, you know, in competition with, a, with, a fa with faster, more efficient media. I always think of the famous story of, of Picasso and um, his Gertrude Stein painting. After producing the painting, he was told by a critic or you know, a, someone that, that the painting looked nothing like Gertrude Stein. He said, oh, but it will. While my, my paintings are never um, particularly accurate depictions of the event, I, I take a lot of like, license and I use a lot of imagination in, in depicting the, the people and the event that I'm interested in, um, I, you know, I, I kind of have this, this fantasy that over time they'll become like the uh, official version of, <laughs> of, or the official image of, of the events that I choose. And that's why I often try to choose events that are a little bit marginal, things that aren't well documented and are, and are likely to fade. I, I, I don't try to be objective, uh, objective in any way. Like, um, I make no claims that any, any of my um, positions or things that I do are anyway correct. I don't think that's the job of art. In fact, art that ends up being um, what easily defendable and correct tends to be, at least in my opinion, not particularly interesting. Like the, the, the flaws in the work and the, the um, inaccuracies are where the art lies, perhaps. <laughs>